Welcome to Game Night tonight for another game unboxing of this game, Creature Comforts. So if you haven't seen this game, there's a reason. It's because it is a brand new game this year of 2022. So it just recently came out. Not a lot of people have seen it. Not a lot of people have played it. But with this one, when we purchased it, we got a bonus pack of different pieces. I don't know if this like is just an upgraded pack, but I'll pull these guys well, really bad. Oh, and it ripped the bag. Whatever. So we got those bonus guys there, which we're going to use and throw in there. But here you go. So you got Creature Comforts here. We bought it solely on artwork and then just looking at the back as per usual. But here we go, cracking into it. We have our rule book. It is a one to five players, which excellent. I love when there's a fifth player because you can add a little bit more people to the fun. But eight and up, about 40 minutes and everything that is entailed and comes in this game listed how to set it up obviously your player setup the different things that you can do throughout your turns different things you're going to be seeing happening etc but it looks like you're going to have a few cards there's a lot of dice involved based on this but loving the artwork it looks great it is a 16 page if you count the back rule book so kind of not i wouldn't say like too hefty of a read but uh, there you go. I mean, you're going to have a little bit of a read. Of course, we got our punch outs. Uh, we got the, this little hill and then you got your dice as they're rolled. Don't know what these are exactly, but it's times five ooh, and times three on the back. So they are double sided things. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the gameplay, but love when they do this too, because, you know, for the retail version, for the Kickstarter edition. So based on which edition you have, you're going to be putting those in but it does tell you how to store your game, which I love when there's organizational stuff like that, that helps you because every place, everything has its place and every place has its thing, you know, that's how it goes. So here we go, the board overall, I'm gonna hold it sideways because if I go this way, I don't know if it'll all be in there, but ultimately you have, wow. So you got the dice numbers here. So based on how high you can climb, I'm guessing, and then different card spots here, dice stuff, more different like location places you're gonna be going. And then you get up into the snow up here. So I don't know if you're like, you're trying to plan for winter. It's might have a feel of Everdell. If anybody's played that, uh, it looks like it might coincide with that. But looking here at our player board. So these are the individual player boards to like kind of track your progress as you're going victory point wise or heart wise i don't know if you start with so many whatnot but that's on one side and then on the other side you have your home and then like the creatures that live there their health or something i'm not sure but interesting that they have it double-sided like that maybe you just track your points at the end of the game there but during the game you have your two creatures that will go out and do different things but each one is a different home of course because each of us lives in a different home but you have all five of the different homes and their respective victory point trackers on the back but there you go one four two one yep so they're all the same as far as player board goes but just different artwork which is beautiful got different dice so these are full size dice uh, regular dice here but it looks like they are unique because there's a paw on this red die paw on the red die right and then we move on to the yellow die we've got like a longer paw so it's like maybe a raccoon i'm not sure a uh, little short paw here right so just different paws and i'm guessing that just stands for yep number one so really cool unique dice uh trying to add more to the the flavor of the game as far as like making you feel like you're part of it because you're seeing footprints of the different animals that you're going to have in this game but there you go you have the dice and it looks like there's five different colors there yeah you know, purple blue three four five you're gonna have five for the players and then as well as the different character you know, colors here as well so you got like the maroon you got the purple you got the green the cyan yellow gray but these I'm not sure what they are exactly, what they're supposed to be shapes of, but I'm sure it's something. Maybe these are houses. That looks like about, that looks about right. So there's a little homes right here. So yeah, you got like the different colored homes based on where you're camping out or something, creating a, your home for the winter, right? I really think it is going to be just very similar to Everdell and the the trying to beat winter and be the best prepared and everything. <laughs> this reminds me of earthworm jim oh my gosh 
Okay, so we have a little earthworm coming up. He's a nice solid wooden figure, right? And then you got a couple of wheelbarrows and then a plus and minus on each side of these little books or something. Don't know what those are. But <laughs> earthworm gem there, everybody. Got him. Love it. So those are those little wooden tokens there. And of course, you have some normal die. Looks like there's nothing special about these ones. No paw prints or anything, but you got four of those guys there for you. I'm going to just pop those back in for a second. Um, last, lastly, in this row, we've got the actual player tokens, which I think goes with these guys. And I'm going to toss one of these because I think we had an extra. Yeah, we had an extra little space. So I'm going to toss those guys there. But these are the different players right here so you got the different player you got raccoons you got rabbits are yellow you've got i'm gonna try and get one of each of these three Ugh, come on where's the blue those darn hedgehogs we're gonna just pour them out here we go there we go all right so we've got a raccoon a little hedgehog you've got a bunny you've got a squirrel and, and what color am i missing oh my gosh and a fox so it looks like you have all these different really cool the different characters and they have printed on the wood the little artwork there but you have all five of them right there looking looking good but they these are pretty thick wooden pieces so they'll pretty, they'll hold up pretty well they're pretty sturdy again this is an for an eight player like an eight and up age difference so it's it's great because they're thicker pieces easier to you know play with the kids won't break anything or whatnot we have these cards here let's bust into them i'm going to quickly go through them so if you need to pause the video at any point in time to see what it's on the card then feel free to do so looks like it's just a fireplace here with a nice cozy fire a little yule log on the fire you know but we've got different things that you're going to be finding in the game you're going to have bread soups that you're going to be making you got a mandolin of course you need entertainment candles there you go a few of those bookshelf it has different powers there at the bottom of what's going to be in that. So you're going to make some pies, uh, muffler, and I'm guessing it's going to add how much heart value. And that I think that acts as the victory point. So how well um, your heart is by the end of the seasons. Then you've got a rocking chair. Here we go. We've got a fairy garden. you got to have something to look at, you know. A flute, obviously. More flutes. you got some quilts here. Some stew, just pure mushroom stew, dang. All right, toys, gotta keep busy. Pot of tea. All right, you got the hearth. with a nice crackling fireplace. The lamp. Now you got preserves. Hopefully there's some wild berry jelly socks. All right, we got pantry. You gotta have pantry for all the foods that you're gonna be making. Some snowshoes in case you need to go out in the snow, ice skates for the fun that you will have. A toboggan. You definitely need a toboggan. If you don't have a toboggan, then you're not living. All right, a piggy bank and a board game. Of course, you have to have a, and that is Everdell right there. <laughs> That's awesome that they have Everdell on a card right there. Uh, another board game. Oh, it's Wingspan. Perfect. And last but not least, you have another board game and i'm not sure if i know that game <laughs> but three different individual board games i'm sure these are the same creators for the, those games which makes it even more fun but there's the different cards that you're going to have right there and then these were the individual pieces that it said to to uh make sure that they go in their individual slots but it looks like you got kind of band-aids here you got one band-aid or two band-aids you got leaves there's a double-sided it's just a little maple leaf here you got books double-sided looks the same mushrooms these are going to just look this oh just flicked a mushroom around making some stew already you got some mushroom stew you got more leaves here or wheat i guess um water blankets i don't know something and then a little mountains here you got uh, logs and some apples perfect so these are the resources you're going to be finding in the game to help you get the things you need you got all the bags for organization which i love they're so good when they do that all right we're going to crack into this nice little package of something we'll figure it out all right these look like different things you're going to encounter different cards maybe that will have to do with 
the spaces that you're on. So total powers, like different things are going to be happening there. So it looks like resources, either you gain or you have to pay to go there. Um, and then both even based on how your role goes, you're going to get the different resources. Maybe I'm not sure, but different things. And there's the, the different symbol here in the middle. Cause there was the sun. So based on the, the actual season you're in, cause it looks like that's fall, spring or summer. I'm not sure. Oh no, it'd be spring because the summer is going to be our sun here. It's got some sun, sun, and then more fall tokens, but you're going to be gaining all these different resources based on how your die roll ends up. And there you go. A lot more happening in spring and summer. And there's no winter because you are preparing for it. You don't want to be without when you get into it. All right. These little square cards. Let's see what's in these. <sighs> Getting there. Okay. Got an almanac. A couple of those. You got bicycles. So more things that are going to help you along the way to get more hearts. Uh, you're going to have fields, a guest cottage, you know, have an herb garden, orchard, a scale, a spinning wheel, a tool shed, an umbrella, a weather vane, a wheelbarrow, a wild wood, a writing desk, a recipe book. Pattern board, a couple of those, and a barrel sauna, which I think I would like that one. That one would be fun. All right, before I get too much further, I'm going to pull it out just to check underneath. Nothing was there, just had these ones fall off the edge there. But you should always check underneath your plastic inserts just to make sure that they have not not left any game essentials there. But... There you have it for those uh, little square cards. Now you're going to get into single rectangle cards because you have these long ones over here, but I think those are based on where you're at collecting stuff. But these look like something different entirely. So just homes, are they all the same? This is the only thing that's, oh, we got to pull those out. Okay, we're going to go through the homes here. Different homes, end of the month. So based on what happens, you're going to be getting different things uh, based on your actual roles here. You gotta have like black bears gonna be there. You gotta have gray wolf. You're gonna have striped skunk, the common loon, the snapping turtle, the what is that? Pleated woodpecker? It's a woodpecker. It's a woodpecker. All right, the lynx, the Canada lynx, hairy tailed mole. Love it. Leopard frog. You have a blue jay, a wild turkey. Nice. A pine harten and a common raven. So these are the animals that are going to be coming, either coming into your village or home or whatever, who you're going to be inviting. Based on that, you're going to get uh, different resources or whatever. But it looks like these are going to be your five characters that you can choose from. You're going to have the chef. Um, ooh, chef on one side and it's gourmet on the other side. Nice. Then you got the lumberjack squirrel. Or the Thatcher Squirrel. And each one has their own respective little power or whatever that they can do. The Stitcher. Or on the flip side, you have the Spinner. So it looks like you have like... I'm, I'm guessing it's like, yeah, the male and female version of each animal. So you have the Gardener, what she does. And the Grocer, what he does. And you choose accordingly. You have the Carpenter. Nice. And the Carver. But those are all the different characters that go with it. And this is just in reverse order. So it's just talents, micro expansion. Oh, little micro expansion. Nice. That's what all those are. So that will create a little bit more to it. Didn't realize it already had an expansion in here. But that's nice. All right. Throwing these back in because that is everything that is in, t in this game here. So let's see if I can remember how this all went in. Better organize this one, you know, finally get everything taken out okay those throw those are there if it doesn't all fit then oh man i'm gonna have to redo it okay there's the board you got your little cheat sheet of where everything goes you got a couple of little punch outs here and your rule book everything that goes into this game creature comforts 
really excited. I love that they threw in the the little Everdell artwork and everything, but I'm really excited about it because it looks like it's it's kind of up the alley of Everdell in that you're preparing for winter, but you're just gonna be seeing what all you can do to get the most hearts to be most prepared for winter essentially. But it is nice because it's an eight year old and up game. So it's not too complex for them. They can figure it out. You can help them through it. It is a little bit longer, 45 minutes, not too bad, but one to five players. So you can teach them how to play. They can play on their own. It's great. Or you can have up to five, which is wonderful. But there you have it for Creature Comforts, another new game this year, 2022. So if you haven't seen it before, that is why. I'm really excited about it. And we will do other future video game playthroughs, uh, game spotlights, etc. So be on the lookout for those. But if you like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications on those videos as they are coming out. But we will catch you next time on Game Night Tonight.